So there's a story I heard at a conference, World Summit. Um, Ifoma Ude shared the story of how she um, visited her mom's place and there was a fence. And her mom was testifying to the fact that the fence was built by her brother. <laughs> and she recollected how she always financially supported the house with money. But they were using the money for food. What they can see in the house is fence. <laughs> what she did is not visible or tangible. Yeah, it's in it. So it, the lesson for her was that a lot of women put their money in the intangible. And when the tangible things are being listed, mm. it is Oga built the house, Oga bought the car. Madame supported school fees. Mm. Madame supported food. So she was admonishing <clears throat> metaphorically, build fences mm. and have physical um, investments. BC, what would you say if you're advising women concerning building fences and all of that? So I, I think I've come to realize that we all fashion out our marriages mm -hmm. based on what we have decided this marriage to be. So uh, you may have a partner who says, there is nothing like my money or your money. It's our money. And in that case, you need to work with what you mean. have. And you may have a partner who says, okay, this is mine, this is yours. So in that case where you can separate whose money it is, it's very important that the woman puts up structures that she can look back tomorrow and say, I did this, I did that for specific reasons. We've had, nobody prays for anything to go awry, but it can happen. And then you have something to hold to. I bought that couch, I bought that car, I bought this, I bought that. But if you're in a situation where you have pulled resources together, nobody knows, like me now, nobody knows who owns what. It's not anybody's car, it's our car, it's our house, it's our this thing. It's important that you have an understanding with your husband that as you're buying the tangibles. Let's take, for instance, my money goes into the feeding. I support with the feeding. As we are buying the tangibles with his own money and paying the fees and all of that, some tangibles are bought in my name, in our name, mm. in his name. So it, it's just like balance. Everybody feels we are adequately taken care of. So you need to understand the sort of partner that you have and have these conversations. Don't leave it to just I'm, I'm the one supporting, I'm adding money, I'm buying, adding this, I'm buying this, and, and you don't have it. Even your in-laws sometimes will see, which one did she do? Mm. We have that in African culture where they come in and they're like, what did she do? What did she bring? She came from her father's house empty-handed. Mm. We have those sort of comments. I personally don't itemize anything, but I know what I bought. Mm. And I, I pray, I <laughs> pray, mind. I know, no, I know. You don't write it down, but I need to and I, I, Not even in the heat of argument do I refer to it. Mm. But I do, I keep a list of it in my mind to, to um, encourage myself, because I don't want to be a wife attachment on the side. I don't, mm. I don't want to be a parasitic mm. uh, spouse. Yeah. But I want, you know, to, would never list it in a way that it will be a point of argument in case of anything. Mm. And... God bless husbands who are bold enough to save to family. Mm. This is an asset to me. Mm. If you want me to run a list mm. of what Madame does in this house, so that they can shut up, because this comment you made yeah, is like clapping. Mm -hmm. If there's a woman in Nigeria that has not heard it, she's a lucky person. She's lucky because they will remind you when hey, you're coming from your father's. So even though you carry box gold, they everything. Don't see the box. Nobody sees it. They will say you came empty-handed, and if there's a and life, you came very skinny. Mm. Of course, and okay, now you have I was a size eight. I skinny dry. So if you if you came <laughs> dry as I came, everything dry. You of course you would have been fed by your husband. Of course. But traditionally we see Africans they make comments that you know can be depressing to women. So mm. you have women who when they do things like I do, keep a list of it mentally. Mm. My achievement. I remember when I made partner in my firm and I was able to pay my partnership. And my husband' goal was to pay for me, but I was saying to my in my mind I will not take money from you. And the moment I was able to pay it, I came and I, and I saw he wasn't happy. He wants to pay everything, everything. for me. Oh. I was saying to him, this one doesn't even know how I feel. As oh. in my head now, I, I feel like metal, metal like, as in three women in one body. Mm. You know? So it's important that, you know, you keep it, but never in rub it in. So I feel like um, BC has handled the A to the Z for the marriage, for marriage. And Nima has also given, you know, perspective on how a woman would also feel when she builds fences. Mm -hmm. But I also want to take it to the fact, um, to a parent-children relationship, mm -hmm. because we see it a lot. We find the child who stays home with the parents, taking care of them at old age, mm -hmm. cleaning after them if they're in hospital. Mm -hmm. 
in the end, that child is not even given as much respect and appreciation as the one who is living abroad and sends mm -hmm. dollars once in a while, mm -hmm. you know, and sends the TV set and True. builds the house. True. But that one that is constantly there. And so for me, the message would really be to family members. Let's leave husbands and wives together. Mm -hmm. Because divorces parents. happen. So it's parents mm -hmm. and children. Mm -hmm. Every child has a gift, mm -hmm. has their strength, and have their what weaknesses. it is that they bring. And everything that every child does is important in building that unit. We should learn to appreciate our children for whatever they bring, no matter how small it seems in your eyes. It's easy for parents to see the demo. But a child that places you on salary and never fails to Every send month. you that salary, or a child who chooses to live closer to you, yep. so that in your old age when you, you need company. maintenance, because Africa, we have the culture where our pension and gratuity are children. Mm. And in the old days, people would have more than five because they want to get it everywhere. So all the children cannot just have a purse and abandon you. If they do have a purse and abandon you, you say, you will know the difference. I love my mother's mother for what she does. Whenever my mother's mother, mother uh, gets, gets anything, my great-grandma gets anything, my grandma, sorry, gets anything, she prays for all Everybody. her children, doesn't matter who mm. sends what. Yep. And I've learned that a bit because it means that I am grateful to you all for because, maybe because you are sending money because somebody else is taking, taking care, care of the things that you would worry about. So you have children where somebody does something for you constantly and you count it less. You are not a deep thinking parent and mm. it might discourage a child from being the right child.